Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can get over 6000 points in the latest burst mode. So I'm leaving the limiters up right now uh, but the main focus is to have as minimal attack power for the enemy as possible whilst also simultaneously having as minimal health as possible. Now for most of these modifiers, they're pretty straightforward. We are always going to select the nullification ones uh, pretty much. And you want to make sure that you choose as well the int type damage reduction and the strength type damage reduction because we're only going to be using physical type units. You then can also click uh, the lock in place, but I like to replace this uh, and instead just reduce key a little bit. Um, to be honest with you, it's a lot easier to handle and locking in place is far more difficult to work around. So I've changed this to being a you know, simple key reduction. In terms of the actual team build, well, it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of free to play characters that you can use in here. Uh, and basically we're going to rely on using a all physical type lead in the form of the third year anniversary easy A unit. Make sure you choose an easy A one as your friend lead. The only thing I suggest here is replacing the Boo and Bubbity. Uh, I'm replacing them with my own third year anniversary unit. Uh, you can use the Super Saiyan 4 uh, anniversary unit from the 7th anniversary. You can use the God Goku unit. Uh, you can use whichever joined forces units, or not God Goku, but you can use any joined force unit you can in replace of Boo and Bubbity. Preferably, I like to choose something high powered. Uh, so it needs to be some kind of LR, whether that's Cell or uh, Blue Boys or whichever one you want, it uh, doesn't really matter. As long as it's some kind of LR, it needs to be able to do very high volumes of damage. That's about it. Everything else is all free to play and pretty easy to access via the Portal of Memories or via anything. Now I've combined two runs here just to kind of show you the gist of it. Uh, the run using the Super Saiyan 4s is a lot more difficult to do uh, than the run using the third year Annies and that's because the Super Saiyan 4s do not have a physical type lead. Now it is possible to use them uh, if you're really struggling uh, you can use them as your friend lead and you're basically relying on using their active skill once you get to the strength bearers phase and new king strength bearers down. It's very very irregular and so I don't suggest this but it's still good to kind of run you through the event. The hardest phase for your team is going to be this first phase. You're going to want to focus down into Beerus and you need to be careful because Whis is guaranteed to super in whichever slot he's attacking. So you want to place either the third year anniversary LRs, uh, one of your stronger defensive units or the Android 17 and Android 8 unit as they are quite strong. Uh, defensively so I suggest you do that uh, and then you should be okay. Uh, in terms of everything else uh, there's not too much really to focus on here. Uh, the off rotation units are going to be the Vegeta Belma unit. You're then going to want to also push the Captain Ginyu off rotation and you're going to want to have the Para Para Brothers off rotation as well. If possible before you start the stage Make sure that you grab as many key tiles uh, as you can. So while you are obviously you know, kind of moving around, try and make sure that you grab as many key tiles as possible. Uh, the key tiles are very important. They're going to help you, you know, continuously super. Uh, and this is you know, very obviously important as it allows you to have a bit better key because we chose the key reduction, um, you know, modifier or whatever it is so we chose the key reduction modifier so try and make sure you have some key on hand and yeah the goal is to get to the strength bearers phase that's where things will get quite interesting now if you're running the ss4 duo as a friend lead you're going to need to nuke bearers at this point this is highly irregular and i don't suggest doing it so that's why i said take the third year anniversaries instead and you're going to split them on either rotation one rotation will have a third year Annie and whichever combination of physical units you have at the time, whereas the other rotation will have the 
powers of the Android 17 and 8 and the 30 year anniversary units. Android 17 and 8 up until turn 8 are great first slot units, so I highly suggest you use them. Once you get to the strength Beerus phase, you need to knock him into the physical phase, and then if you don't kill Beerus in the physical phase, you will actually get this phase whereby he sleeps. Uh, this is a great opportunity to do damage and you should get your Doken attack at this point as well. Uh, the reason we take the third year any units is because most of our units can survive supers from Strength Beerus or Physical Beerus. The only one that cannot is Captain Ginyu. Uh, he needs a double super to survive a super from the Physical Beerus and the Great Sandman 1 and 2 also need double 12 key supers and they still will take far too much damage. Every single other unit will survive a super. Uh, yes, I know, even uh, Vegeta. Vegeta and Bulma actually, if you're in a tight situation, just to give you a heads up, that Vegeta will tank more than fine once he's in his black outfit. Like, he'll take a 5k on normals after a super, but he'll tank the rest more than fine. Otherwise, you're relying on the third year any units and up until turn 8. You're relying on Android 17 and 8 to do a lot of the tanking. But beyond that, everything should work fine. It'll take you a couple tries, uh, but you should be good to go. Uh, obviously, you know, like, depending on how much RNG you get. Like I said, if you don't have the third year any units, that's fine. Uh, what you can do is you can use any replacement unit. A joint forces lead unit will be good. Anything that can do decent damage. Uh, or sustain. As long as they can survive a super attack and you have one third year any unit, you should be fine. But the main goal is they have to be physical because obviously that's how the team is functioning. And that's it. That is burst mode all done and dusted. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, wish you all the best of luck. I will be doing one with legendary existence, uh, but at this point you just have to clear the event with legendary existence. Uh, but I will be trying to take a look. Uh, at legendary existence but yeah that's it for me bye